The overall goal of this divided visual field event-related potential methodology is to observe the unique contribution of each hemisphere of the brain to the processing of emotional stimuli, as measured by the Late Positive Potential, or LPP. This method can help to answer key questions in the field of lateralized processing of emotion, such as what are the unique contributions of each hemisphere to the motivated attention network for processing unpleasant versus pleasant stimuli. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows you to assess the processing differences between the two hemispheres of the brain with a fine temporal resolution. Demonstrating the procedure will be Nick Lunny, a grad student in my lab. Zach Jamelli, an undergraduate research assistant in my lab, will be playing the role of the participant. Begin by escorting the participant into the testing room and having them read and complete an informed consent. Then have the participant complete a demographic survey to provide sex, age, handedness, native language, vision, and neurological history in order to assess inclusion for the study. Next, apply electroencephalography or EEG electrodes onto the participant's scalp according to the International 1020 system. Then seat the participant in a dark, electrically shielded, sound attenuated room. Use a chin rest to stabilize the head and minimize movement. Then instruct the participant to passively view the image stimuli without shifting their eyes away from the center of the screen. Instruct the participant that a